Hi there, my name is Megan Taylor and I'm a doctoral student at the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health where we study musicians' health. In light of COVID-19, we have expanded our work to create these videos for student musicians to learn about instrument hygiene. Later in this video, you will learn how to clean your instrument. For now, I would like to remind you of some of the personal hygiene habits that can help keep our instruments clean. I know this can feel like a lot um, of things to try to remember when you're trying to play your instrument, uh, but the good news is that we're all in this together. Talk with your classmates and your teachers about how you plan to keep yourself and others safe during band and orchestra class. Also, remember to ask your teachers if you have any questions or if you need any help with anything that you're about to see in the remainder of this video. From all of us here at the We Mean Clean Project, Thank you for watching and stay healthy. Hello, my name is Justin Hooper. My coworker, Ann McMillan, and myself run the University of North Texas Instrument Repair Shop. Our jobs are to provide repair services to the university students, the university owned instruments, and the surrounding community. In addition to this, we teach classes in brass and woodwind instrument repair and maintenance, as well as offer workshops and clinics for band directors and music educators. We are excited to be partnering with the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health and the Texas Academy of Math and Sciences to bring you these series of videos on how to properly clean your instruments at home. Please note that this type of cleaning does not sterilize or disinfect an instrument, but if done on a regular basis, will keep your instrument in good working order and free of harmful buildup. If you feel your instrument needs that kind of attention, we urge you to please reach out to your local music store or your band director for further guidance. We would also like to note that you need to follow the instructions very precisely. Any deviation from the instructions as outlined in the video could cause harm to your instrument or yourself, so please be advised. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in these videos, please feel free to reach out to either Anne or myself. We hope you find these videos very helpful and informative. Thanks. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, my name is Caitlin Sanders and I attend the Texas Academy of Math and Science at UNT. Uh, I'm a clarinetist in the Tam Stovall Orchestra, and today I will be showing you guys how to properly clean your clarinet mouthpiece. Uh, as you know, we have all been practicing and using this as an opportunity to improve as musicians, right? I think it's important to note that it's very important that we keep our instrument clean just because it harbors a lot of bacteria and mold and stuff that can make us sick. So it's important to clean our mouthpiece once a week. Um, at least. Today we are not learning how to clean the body of our instrument just because the body of our instrument uh, of our clarinet should be cleaned by professionals only. Uh, if we try to do it personally it, it could be very damaging and potentially destroy our instrument. So uh, make sure that you guys do not clean the body of your instrument and just stick to cleaning your mouthpiece once a week. Okay let's get started. So to start off you're gonna need uh, a bin of soapy water uh, make sure that the water is warm, um, but not scalding hot as this can damage your instrument, but also not too cold as it won't be effective in cleaning it. Um, you can use any kind of soap, uh, any kind of dish soap. I'm using the palm olive brand, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you're also going to need a towel, a Q-tip, and obviously your clarinet mouthpiece. So the first step is you're going to put your clarinet mouthpiece in the bin of soapy water and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. After you've let your mouthpiece sit in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, go ahead and take it out and then take your towel and go ahead and make sure you wipe it down really good, focusing on the areas that your mouth touches the instrument. So maybe up here usually has a lot of gunk and then in, in the inside, right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your Q-tip and clean the inside of the mouthpiece. Um, so basically you're gonna wanna get all the way inside on the top and bottom, clean out the whole thing. And yeah, okay. So when you're done, just go ahead and dry it off and that's it. 
remember to stay safe and stay positive during this quarantine and don't forget to practice. Bye, thank you.